Welcome. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a screen flow to create a note record in Salesforce. My name is Brian Hayes, and this is Automation of the Week. Every week, I'll show you a different tutorial of how to build out an automation within Salesforce, Pardot, or another tool to improve your business. So this week, we're gonna dive into screen flows a little bit, and the outcome that I want is the creation of a note record in Salesforce. So here's an example of a note record that says discovery notes, and you can write whatever you want within this area. But what we want today is to create a guided process. Let's say we have some salespeople and we want to give them a couple questions to ask our prospects. Well, we can use a screen flow to guide them through that process. Question one, question two, question three, et cetera. But perhaps we don't want to save those answers to custom fields within an opportunity or an account. Well, here's an alternative to that. Instead of creating custom fields that are gonna be with us pretty much forever, we can instead save that data to a note record and attach that to the account or the opportunity or wherever we're asking those questions. You can use this for an onboarding process as well. Really, any time where you wanna capture some data but you don't wanna dedicate custom fields to that data, this is a good alternative. The big question is, do I need to report on this data? If you need to report on it, then you want to keep that in a nice structured field. If you don't care about that, then a note is just fine. The other question to ask is, do I want to relate this data to multiple records? If it's just data in a field, that's going to live on one particular record, on one object. But if it's data in a note, you can relate that to multiple records and across multiple objects. For example, it could be related to an account and an opportunity. In our example today, either we've got salespeople who are trying to ask questions of prospects or we have success managers who are asking questions of new customers, we probably want this data easily available in multiple places. If it's in an opportunity and it's about their onboarding situation, we want that on the opportunity, but also on the account. And so saving that in a note makes it easily accessible. And since we're going to be asking really qualitative questions, reporting on it doesn't matter so much in this case. We just want the notes there so we can better serve this particular customer. What we're going to build today is our screen flow that has some questions on it. And then based on the input of those questions, we'll create our note and have it attached to our record, in this case, an account. Let's get started. So in Salesforce, go to the setup gear in the upper right hand corner and then search for flow in the quick find. Under flows, click new flow, and we're gonna select a screen flow in this case. Hit create. Because this is a screen flow, I wanna have a variable where we can capture the record the screen flow was executed on. To do that, click new resource, choose variable, and write in record ID with a capital I and no spaces. Under data type, click text, and check the box to make it available for input. What that means is we're going to be passing the ID from the record into the flow when that flow starts. And then click Done. Next thing we want to do is add a screen. So this screen can be called Discovery Questions or Onboarding Questions, whatever makes sense for your use case. And then in the center here, we can start to add some inputs. We can add some questions. And you could choose really from any of these different component pieces here, but I'm going to choose a long text area. So drag that over to the right. And now we can give this a label. Let's go with what are the biggest challenges you're facing today? I'm gonna to mark this question as required and then let's do that again. Drag over another long text area and let's ask another question. And here we can ask if you were able to solve that challenge, how would that impact your bottom line? And I'm gonna check the box to make this required as well. You could even insert some default values here if you wanted to maybe give your users some suggestions of how they might you know, lead that prospect to answer if they're having trouble thinking about a particular answer. I'm just gonna leave these two questions for now, but know that you can expand upon this and you can ask a lot of other sorts of questions. You can create visual dependencies within screen flows if one question might trigger the prompting of another question, that sort of thing. But let's click done for now. So once they've filled out those questions, what we wanna have happen in the background is create that note with the answers. Hit the plus sign and look for create records. Add that element, and this will be our create note step. We're only gonna create one note, and we're gonna set those values based off separate resources and literal values. So under object, search for note, and you'll see that we have two. We have note with the API name of note, and one with an API name of content note. Since we're in Lightning, we're using the new note functionality, 
Go ahead and choose Content Note. That's the one that we want. And you really don't have that many fields to choose from. You've got just content, owner ID, sharing privacy settings, and a title. So let's add the title, and then we'll add another field here for content. For the title, we could just write this in here. I'm gonna call this Discovery Notes. And now for the content, we want this to be a little bit more dynamic. So click New Resource at the top, and we're gonna use a text template for this. Let's call this Discovery Note Template. And now within this text template, we can start to add resources from the flow. So this is where we can add in the answers that were submitted in our previous screen. Click Insert Resource, and right at the top, we've got these two different screen components. Now, if we select these screen components, it's the value of the answer that was submitted that's gonna come through. So I'm gonna add that one there, and then I'll add the second one beneath it. One thing that's missing here, though, is the question. So if we just left this as it is, we would have the answers, but we wouldn't have any reference to what the question was that was being asked. And we can just manually write it above our merge field here. Looks like I've actually got these questions in the wrong order. So I'm just gonna copy our second one here with that label that we added manually and paste it above. Another thing we can do to make it a little bit more readable is bold the question, then click done. This step here is gonna create our note, but we still need to relate it to our account record. To do that, click the plus button and add another create record step. We need to create a content document link record. In Salesforce, the content note acts like a file. It stands on its own in the system. And then a content document link record is what actually links that note to a record. One of the nice things about that is it enables us to relate this note to multiple records within Salesforce. All we have to do is create another content document link record. I'm gonna label this relate note to account. Again, we're just gonna create one record in this case, and we're going to specify those values of that record. Under object, search for content document link. And for our fields, there's two that we're concerned with. We want our content document ID. That's the ID of the note record we just created. And then our linked entity ID. That's the linked record. That's gonna be our account. So we'll start with linked entity ID. And under value, scroll down and choose record ID. If you remember at the beginning of our flow, we created this to capture the account ID when we first started the flow automation. Then hit add field again. And this time we'll choose content document ID. And from here, we've got a variable that was created automatically for us called note ID from our create note step. Select that and click done. Hit save. I'm gonna call this account dash discovery questions. I like to start the naming of flows with the object that that flow is gonna run on. It makes it a little bit easier to find later. And now let's debug this. Click the debug button. And you can see here it's looking for a record ID. That's the account ID that it's looking for. So I'm just gonna come over here to one of our accounts, copy that account ID, come back here to our debug and paste it in. Then click run. Here are our two questions in our flow. Go ahead and write in some answers and then click next. That finishes our flow and on the right hand side, we've got no errors, which is always a good sign. And you can see that a note was created over here. If we come back to our account, here's that record that was created and related to our account. If you click on that, it'll open up and here we can see that the questions that we wrote by hand or bolded with those answers that were put in through the screen right underneath them. Let's take this one step further. You can now make this flow available to your users by triggering it with a button or by embedding it directly on the record page. Let's embed it on the record page in this case. So if we go back to our flow, click activate, so it'll now become available. Then come back to our record page and click edit page. On the left-hand side, you'll find a component called flow. Click and drag that, put it wherever you want in the system. And then on the right-hand side, make sure that you're selecting the right flow in this dropdown. In my case, it just happened to choose the right flow automatically, but don't count on that. You might have to search for it. If it's not showing up here, you probably didn't click activate in that flow. And you can see on the right-hand side here are variables that are available for input. It's already selected record ID to capture the record ID of this record. So there's really nothing for us to do here, but just make sure that it looks like it does here in the screen when you first add it. And then hit save. Now we've got a screen flow embedded on our account page 
where it's prompting our users to answer these questions. And then when you hit next, it will generate that note. Add a couple more answers, click next, and you'll see it just generated yet another note associated with our account. There are a couple more things that I would recommend doing to make sure that your users have the best possible experience. And it really depends on how you wanna use this functionality. If you wanna embed the flow on a record page like we have here, I would make sure that there's some sort of visibility conditions that are set so it only shows up when it's relevant. Maybe when they're first made a new customer, as an example. Or maybe when the type field of the account equals prospect. Then maybe we wanna have these questions be prompted. Another thing would be to change the text of the next button. So instead of it saying next, it could say submit or it could say save to note because until they click that button, this data actually isn't being saved anywhere. So if they navigate away from this page, they could lose their answers and you wanna avoid that as much as possible. The main thing I want you to take away is that this is an option for you. If you want to take your users through a guided process, but you don't wanna to have to save that data to custom fields, consider generating a note related to that main record. And I'll be really curious to learn of all the different ways you implement this solution in your particular business. I hope you found that helpful and thanks for watching. If you wanna learn how to use Flow better, consider signing up for our live Flow class. Links in the description below. Thanks.